This is a camp in Reynosa on the outskirts of town called Cinda de Vida, which is Path to Life. It's an organization, a nonprofit organization that specializes in taking in migrants who have been expelled from the United States under Title 42, the pandemic health order. These are people who, rather than be thrown to the wolves, so to speak, the cartels in this cartel-ridden city are able to access American immigration lawyers who help them fill out asylum claims. And the organization works directly with CBP, Border Patrol, and the American government. And once they process their claims, some of these people are actually invited two, three, four, six, seven at a time over the bridge to enter the United States. It's an old policy called metering from the early days of the Trump administration. And they've been doing that here at this organization in Reynosa for at least three years. But the numbers are greater now than they've been in many months because so many migrants are coming in from all over the world. And in this place, there's mostly Central Americans who are largely ineligible for asylum, but it's a second chance. They have walls that are, they're not barbed wire and they're not required to stay in here, but the walls kind of keep out predators, human predators. The place is clean, neat. It's very well stocked with food and toys classroom materials for the kids. But in any case, it's a very unusual experiment because so many people are just taking their second chance here after they've been expelled under the Title 42 rules. Now, what happens after Title 42 is finally done away with uh, remains an open question because this in some ways would become unnecessary. People would just be able to go in and not be expelled under Title 42. Anyway, I am Todd Benzman from the Center for Immigration Studies in a refugee migrant camp in Reynosa, Mexico.